This week we have more space news. Let's get right into it. Early Friday, NASA astronauts Chris and Robert began a spacewalk outside the International Space Station to replace lithium-ion batteries for one of the station's power channels. These spacewalks are a series of power upgrades that began in January 2017 to replace nickel-hydrogen batteries with new lithium-ion batteries that have a mass of 428 pounds. The new batteries arrived last month on a Japanese cargo ship. A massive plume of dust from the Sahara Desert, northern Africa, has been transferring to the atmosphere thousands of feet above the tropical Atlantic Ocean and is now cloaking the Caribbean and closing up on the southern eastern United States. While summer dust plums are a common occurrence, this appears to be one of the most extreme in recent memory. It's so large that it has begun a nickname, Gorilla Dust Cloud. Third, Amazon. Amazon launched a $2 billion fund today to advance technologies that will cut down greenhouse gases. The fund will help Amazon and other companies adhere to the climate pledge which started in September 2019. That pledge committed the company and others to sign on to becoming carbon neutral by 2040. On to the mini topics. More space. Before the flight of Dragonship at Denver, one of the biggest questions from engineers at NASA and SpaceX were durability of the spacecraft. The first Crew Dragon spacecraft launch test in 2019 and spent less than a week attached to the space station. NASA hoped that Dr- Dragon could last a few months in space. In particular, the engineers were not sure how quickly at Denver's solar panels would degrade and accordingly produce less power. Therefore, since the spacecraft Docked to the station, it has been powered up once a week to test power output and other solar panels. The second topic, more space. Richard Branson, space tourism venture, Virgin Galactic, will start coordinating private astronaut trips to the ISS for NASA, a new partnership aimed to increase commercial use of the space agency. Thanks to the new Space Act agreement with NASA, Virgin Galactic is tasked with putting together a new private orbital astronaut readiness program for the agency, which can be used by other governments as well. And the last topic, with the EU. The EU plans to ban travel from the US when it reopens its border on July 1st, because the Trump administration's poor handling of COVID-19 pandemic. Under the current plans, the US will join Brazil and Russia on the list of forbidden countries, as all three countries have had poor responses to the virus. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.